Hello YouTube, how you doing? It is Sunday, Sunday evening. <laughs> it is, it is Sunday, November 27th, 2016. Time again for another pocket dump deconstruction. Why? Because we do this every single day. That's why I give you the date. Every single day. I don't even know. You know, I should have checked. I don't know how many of these we've done. We must be close to 200 by now. Every single day we post what I'm carrying in my pockets and I keep my pockets full with a lot of stuff. What you see in front of you, that's what I'm going to fill my pockets with. I also have a knife that got away, one that I considered using. And it's Sunday. <laughs> Usually Sundays I go downstairs to pick up my blue apron delivery, but they doubled up for Easter last week. So I didn't have that, but I had a new knife that said it came in yesterday late morning and I went down there three times to the mail room and they didn't have it sorted yet. It's holiday season, bunch of packages. So I went down today and it's there. That's that blue thing on the right. So I'm carrying it. I took these pictures. I posted them on Instagram at Keith Kevin Ken just about eight minutes ago. Turned my iPhone 6S Plus from photo to video. And now it's time to do the pocket dump deconstruction. I'm about ready to step outside on a Sunday. Man, it's been a nice holiday. I took a longer holiday than usual. Usually we have at work Thanksgiving, Thursday, and Friday. I took Wednesday and Monday, so ah, no Monday this week. That's exciting. Let's talk about what I'm going to fill my pockets with. Um, let's see. I have a Rolex, my Rolex Datejust. Again, these are my regular rotation of watches. I love the Rolex uh, Datejust. I have three Rolexes. Um, I used to have a bunch more uh, before I got rid of them. I love the day just so classic, so wonderful. This is the kind of Rolex you put it on your wrist and uh, your wrist and everyone knows you have a Rolex on, but it's just classy, not showy offy. Not that I'm against showy offy. This is the guy that carries every now and then an all orange carry, okay? I'm just saying. But I really like that. And I'm having I'm going out with friends and so I want it to at least look a little nice. The cigar today, Monte Cristo, it's that newer uh, brand. It's the open brand from uh, Cuban Monte Cristo. This is the Masters. Ugh, I do love a Monte Cristo. Man, oh man. I smoked a Monte Cristo that I literally have had for... Uh, I don't know, <laughs> 25 years, right? As a consultant, oh man. Smooths out the rough edges, but still packs power. I loved it, man. Heaven, heaven. Um, one of my coach thin wallets. Today, <laughs> man. I have drank and smoked some very expensive things while on vacation. Smoked and drank expensive things. Man, I don't even want to. It's like collecting, right? You really don't want to add it up. I've I've done that. I've been dreaming about a, a getting a wonderful van or small mobile home or something. Travel around the country, checking everything out, learning photography getting on YouTube, another channel, all about cigars and eating and going to all the knife places that I haven't been to, shops, as well as conventions, all that stuff. So I looked at the cost of my knives. You should never do that. Never look at the cost of your knives. All of a sudden, you're thinking about selling. I'm not thinking about selling these, though. I love this carry. I know. I don't know. What is it? The fifth? I did a, I've already done 
a Spydeco Palooza with all of my paramilitaries. I started this year. I started 2016 with one paramilitary with the Digicam and the DLC coated black blade. And I'm ending with, I don't know, six or seven. <laughs> they really released a lot of paramilitary twos. I think a lot of exclusives to a lot of companies and of course, companies could always ask for them. I think because everyone knows Para 3 is coming, the new paramilitary, the shorter three inch blade one. I think that's why. <sighs> After swearing to myself not to get another one, I got another one. That's the new knife and that's my big knife today. But let's talk about this. You guys know this is my Spydeco tag. Man, that's an all Spydeco carry. I think that's the first all Spydeco carry that I've had since we uh, reached a thousand subscribers and I started recording my Spydeco Palooza. And I am so sorry, you guys. You know, <laughs> just doing a daily one is something, but I have a lot of videos that will be coming to you, I promise. That's why I'm putting it on a playlist. I, I know it sounds so stupid, but if you're a fanatic like I am in collecting, like I couldn't tell you how many move, how many DVDs I have in this house or how many books, but I'll tell you what, or coins or anything else, I just don't count. But uh, I'll tell you what, um, that Spyderco collection is bigger than I thought. We're going to do a lot of videos. I promise you, I promise you, that's why I'm linking them all in a playlist so if you wanted to look at the entire collection you'll be able to as I get through it um, this is the Spydeco tag you guys know that it's two great makers I love my Spydeco and I love my Serge Pachinko uh, I really do only have two <laughs> knives from him and those are the claw coins but man I, I just just looking at his stuff online very creative this is the tag. It was taken off of his custom tag knives. Call tag knives because they're dog tags. This is the first one that came out. The first of three that uh, Serge worked with Spyderco on. This one, this is titanium with some aluminum. The second one is a blacked out version. And the third one is a carbon fiber backing on the body. These are slip joints, y'all. It really is. That way it's just easy and simple for everybody to use. Oh, I like it. I like it. Um, good material, too. Spydeco used S30V steel on this 1.2-inch blade. It is a slip joint, but just put your finger right there in the hole, and it's cool. It'll get all the cutting you need to cut. And actually... That's the thing about a slip joint. Nowadays, we're all worried because we have so many locking knives. But remember, most people didn't have locking knives <laughs> until pretty recently, actually. Because when you're cutting, the force is going against the opening. It's locking itself. If I'm opening a box, I'm going against the opening. But anyway, for safety, put your finger there. Uh, this is titanium with aluminum right here just the aluminum bar I love the the green and the blue anodization um, that is the bar that keeps that edge away from you even though there's room just in case looks nice too doesn't it you can wear it around your neck just like a dog tag or put it on your keychain like me I think it's a perfect perfect keychain knife that is the Spydeco tag the first one out of three with Spydeco and Serge Bachanko oh man I am so excited um the chaparral this is the fourth chaparral this is what they call the blue stepped titanium the third one was just a step titanium it had the same step. You see that 3D titanium pattern? Here, the pattern really stands. I, you know, I think I, well, let me see. It's on the desk because I'm looking at doing that uh, 2017. There it is. 
So believe it or not, same pattern, the stepped pattern. The difference, of course, is they sprinkle blue all through it. Very nice. You can imagine on a production knife how difficult that is. But, oh, they do a great job. The Chaparral, I keep saying it's it's the least disgusted. Um, uh, you know, you don't hear people talking about the Chaparral series from Spyderco. I love it. There are four knives. There's a... Um, Carbon fiber is the first one. The second one is all titanium. Well, I have the second one right here. <laughs> I told you, I just haven't done <laughs> the videos. I still have them all on my desk. This is the second one. Hold on. Let me see. Where's that first one? Yeah, I have all four of them on my desk. I'll tell you why in a few moments. And here's the first one. So uh, these are the four chaparrales. Uh, they are just wonderful. Again, all the same pattern, 2.8 inch blades, just under that three inch blade. Yeah, everyone knows the Sages because of all the different locks and everything. Well, this is the Chaparral. These are great gentleman folders knives that can really do some damage. I love these things. CTS XHP steel, all of them. Um, again, they all have this wire clip. You know, I might as well put them all down for you guys to expand this thing. <laughs> How about that? This remembers the carry knife <laughs> that I was talking about. The reason all of these are on my desk is that Spydeco is coming out with the fifth one in 2017, and it's a funky one. It's It's got a plexiglass covering and it has like uh, brass and something else making a design underneath it it's gonna be nice and funky oh can't wait can't wait i love that all of them are backlocked so you have that strong backlock look how thin they are just so well done oh fits in the hand just perfect that 50 50 choil that classic spydeco leaf blade has a little jimping on both the forward choil and the back but man it just feels great in the hand this is what i'm carrying got that blue thing going on right here these are the four that's why they're on my desk because when i do my video about 2017 i want to show you what we're talking about and i'll have a better description of the fifth one but i love that they're releasing a fifth one this year, the 40th anniversary, 2016, they released the fifth Sage. And in that one, they pat themselves on the back for the compression lock that we all know and love from the paramilitary too. And then in 2017, they're going to do the fifth Chaparral. I was afraid they weren't going to release the Chaparral. Those Chaparrals are not inexpensive because of the 3D um, scales and, and all the tie and everything. But... I'll tell you something, I love it. I really do. And I'm so happy they're continuing the series. Now let's talk about the Paramilitary 2. I carried a Paramilitary 2 yesterday because this one was locked up in the mailroom. So pissed, so pissed. But I gave it its freedom today and I'm putting it in my pocket. It's not like I'm going to chop down trees. I'm going to see some friends and brag about knives and stuff. Oh, man. Is there anything that fits in the hand better than a paramilitary two if you're a Spydeco fan? I don't think so. So strong with the compression lock, Spydeco's compression lock, just a wonderful lock. You feel it click in, and then of course, this came right out of the box, but I'll tell you, by next week I'll do this and it'll go all the way down. It's just perfect. Right out of the box about 10 minutes ago. <sighs> Love you. Of course, this one right here, I thought I was done with my paramilitary buying this year, but Bento Box Shop in California, they have a number of Spydeco exclusives, you know, asking Spydeco to do an exclusive for them. Well, they did this with the blue titanium. I love this gigantic 
<laughs> lanyard hole. Um, blue, uh, what did I say? Blue titanium. I didn't mean blue G10 scales for the handle. Just nice, smooth G10. That regular Spydeco clip that you see on all of the paramilitary twos. What's special about this? Well, it's just like every other paramilitary two, and every paramilitary two to me is special. 3.4 inch blade, but it's a bento box shop exclusive because of the steel. Oh yeah. This is M390 steel. That's the thing about all of these paramilitaries this year. First, besides a sprint run with crew wear, We've had a lot of exclusives with CPM, uh, M4. Um, man, I have that orange with the black blade with CTS, XHP, and now we have this. Oh, M390 steel. This is my first M390 steel on my paramilitary two. Brand new. Yeah, I'm putting it in my pocket. It's kind of a blue carry for this Sunday. I'm feeling so good this Sunday because I don't have to work tomorrow because I took off. <laughs> That's why. That, my friends, is the carry. Plus, I had to give you the history of the chaparral since I had them on my desk, desk right? Yeah. I, I could, you know, they're here. We might as well talk about them. Chaparral 1, Chaparral 2, Chaparral 3. I'm carrying the blue chaparral. I think it goes well, right? <laughs> I'm doing the blue chaparral and of course my brand new paramilitary too. I'm making room. You see me making room? That's because it's Sunday and it's big knife day. There you have it. That's the carry and then some. Don't forget to thumb it up. Let's go crazy on those thumb ups, please. <sighs> you know, it's funny. I, I have so much time. When I'm on vacation, I'm even cooking and doing all this stuff, watching videos and, and all of this. But I thought it would be easier to do videos because <laughs> you have time. But, you know, when you're running off to work, I go, got to get that video. Got to, hey, got to pick my carry. Got to film it. So it's been a little bit more difficult for me to keep up the daily. But I had to do daily for you guys. Have to because that's what I said I'd do. Please thumb it up. Don't forget to share the video. Uh, let people know there's a little thing that YouTube lets you share it. And please subscribe if you haven't. There are more people watching these videos um, and a lot more, almost double the amount of people who watch these videos who don't subscribe. So hit that subscription button and even if you subscribe, hit that bell because I am going to do more videos. They are going to come and I don't want you to miss the special ones. That's a notification. We're on our way to 2,000. 2,000. We're going to hit it. And when we do, I'm going to go through another Pelican case of knives. And also, which includes customs and browse blades and striders and hinderers. And all these big knives that I'm talking about. Um... I, I can't wait to do it. I can't. So please, let's hit that 2,000 mark. But the very, the fun part is I'll be giving away at least two. Now I'm doing even at least two Spydeco knives. And at least one of those Spydeco knives, they're, they're going to be new out of the box. The only thing is I've taken a picture of them. Uh, new out of the box. And at least one of them will be an exclusive sprint run. So hit that subscribe button so and i posted a pretty picture on instagram at keith kevin king come join the feed it's easy to do okay enough about all of that we haven't talked about the knife that got away remember i told you i hadn't done an all spotical carry since we reached <laughs> a thousand subscribers and that's because i've been dealing with this spotical collection man i have a lot of knives I have a lot of knives. The thing that's keeping me away is I have to research the names and blade types and stuff of all these different knives. 
<laughs> Spyderco has a lot of variety. They really do. I think I'll take care of a lot of the knives uh, when I go through the 2017 um, catalog. But boy, we're barely halfway through with all those knives. If you want to check out what I'm talking about with Spyderco Palooza, there is a playlist here on this uh, channel. Go check it out. All of the collection so far so far we're still chipping away at it so i i was thinking not to do an all spydeco carry today either so i started with this this is i keep telling you it's simple but one of my favorites it's the chris reeve large sabenza 21 with the ladder damascus plain jane on the bottom Real spiffy on the top with that Devin Thomas ladder Damascus blade. 3.6 inches of Damascus. Ah, and that wonderful. <sighs> Is anything better? I know he's got all the flourishes. And I and I bought a lot of those knives. You know, all the inlays and the etched and all of that. But man, is anything just more beautiful? Then a plain Jane with a wonderful Damascus blade. Ugh, I love it. I have the large and small. They also have these in um, raindrop and basket weave. And I keep thinking about picking them up. You know, I don't know why. I, I, you know, you guys know I love my Chris Reeve knives. There's something about, I don't know. There's something <laughs> for me about just having those two. I think if I had to give up all my knives, listen, I say that all the time. I don't have to give them up yet, right? Um, I might consider, I don't know, until you're forced to do it, but it would be hard for me to give this knife up and the small Sabenza 21 with this. If they come out with an Nkosi with Damascus, uh, a small Inco Yes, I'm in love with my small Inkosis now. I really am in love with it. Oh, I love this. That's the knife that got away. You guys saw it was hard for me to even put it down. And of course, on Sundays, I always take down a big knife. I wasn't going to have to make a run this Sunday because Blue Apron... Uh, the meal in a box. Nope, they're not sponsoring this. I wish they were. Just give me free meals. <laughs> um, they send me enough uh, every Sunday. But they doubled up. They sent Sunday and then Monday because it was going to be Turkey Day here in the States on a Thursday. So I thought I wouldn't have to go down on Sunday. But because they didn't un didn't put this in the system my new paramilitary until this morning i had to go down man i love this knife i, I really do this is the spydeco proficient man there's gonna be a lot of knives on the table like the good old days this is the proficient i can't really talk to you about the proficient without first talking about the Spydeco bushcraft knife. Now, you guys know I live in a big city in an apartment where people take in your mail, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> I am not a bushcraft person. But like everybody else, I keep thinking about being on the road and boondocking and, and camping a lot and all of those things, even in my old age. I am fascinated by bushcraft. I watch a lot of videos. And Spyderco uh, teamed up with a bushcraft expert out of the UK, and they designed this, the Spyderco bushcraft knife. Now, it has all of the things that they tell me bushcrafters love, and Spyderco tells me too. So first you have this big, thick handle, smooth g10 and they have it because it's really you can work with it all day and all night you don't want an exhausted hand thick blade thick blade so that you can pound on it to to break up um rocks and everything 
Uh, just a real nice thing. The Scandinavian grind, the Scandi grind, so that it's a multi-purpose knife that can do a whole lot of things. And this, again, this is the bushcraft we're talking about. 4.1 inch blade and the steel is 01. The other thing for bushcrafters is that high carbon blade. Now, you know, we're all looking for that stainless steel blade, making sure that it doesn't rust. This old one has a lot of carbon in it, so you have to take care of it. <clears throat> but a bushcrafter, their knife is everything, right? So, of course, they know how to take care of it. Easier to sharpen really takes a wonderful edge and that's what they want so that is the bushcraft that came out a couple of years ago from spartacle i just love the feel of it <laughs> okay the following year was it last year or the year after spartacle said i love the bushcraft let's take that same model and make one for knife nerds like kevin <laughs> okay <laughs> we get the bushcraft but those guys that dream about bushcrafting is never going to do it. Those city dwellers, even though you guys may not be in a city, but you know you're not bushcrafting, right? They just want to go in the woods and have some fun. They're fishing. They're doing whatever. Let's do the same thing, but let's spiff it up a bit. And that is the proficient. Same thick handle, but this time instead of... <laughs> instead of smooth g10 and like nice little brass nails in there nails you guys know what i'm talking about instead look at that carbon fiber real carbon fiber it feels so great i mean polished just nice smooth carbon fiber yeah that's titanium now the brass pins titanium full titanium the steel, hey, we're not talking about carbon fiber because I'm not going to be in the woods, right? <laughs> I might be in the woods for a little bit. Oh, no. S90V steel and that full flat grind for the slicing and dicing and everything. Oh, what a beautiful knife. On both of these, of course, you have the little spidey hole just to say, Spidico, Spidico. But is that nice? Oh. When you feel, when you hold this one and it feels so good and you know this is the Bush Crafter, this one is going to be on my sports mobile if I ever get my sports mobile. Uh, but man, this one too. This one fits better in my city hand. <laughs> yeah, carbon fiber, 4.1 inch S90V steel. That is the Spydeco uh, proficient and I'll tell you I took both of those down there today <laughs> and they went crazy they went oh what's the difference I started explaining like I'm doctor knife to them oh that's a pleasure just <laughs> picking those knives up today real nice knives that's why I collect knives hey you guys that's it don't forget like, share, please subscribe. We're making our way to 2,000. I appreciate you guys. I really do. That's why I do it every single day. You guys push me further. You really do. Um, and it's so nice to talk to you once I turn on everything. It's just getting started. <laughs> That's the problem. You guys have a perfect, perfect day. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. Keep those pockets full. Goodbye.